welcome to the next session on operations research in this session we will discuss the concept of hawk versus dove game theory model introduction to game theory definition game theory is a mathematical framework for analyzing situations where the outcome for each participant depends on the choices of all involved it's about predicting how individuals or groups make decisions that lead to competitive or cooperative outcomes relevance game theory is used in various disciplines the first one is economics analyzing market competition and consumer behavior biology understanding evolutionary strategies and animal behaviors and third for social sciences examining political strategies negotiations and social interactions we have discussed about all this in detail in all the lectures that game theory is used in various disciplines economics biology social sciences are just a few to name there is also political science it is used in machine learning these days it is used everywhere and also in day to day their life examples like you're playing chess or you're playing rock paper scissors everywhere you make use of game theory now we are mainly talking about the hawk versus dove model this model illustrates two primary strategies individuals can adopt in a conflict over resources hawks these individuals are aggressive and willing to fight for resources potentially risking injury doves these individuals avoid confrontation opting for strategies that promote sharing or retreating to minimize conflict so this model is of interest because you are talking about the nature of two birds one is a hawk and the other is a dove but when they are in nature and they are in requirement of something their behavior or their strategy is very different hawks are very aggressive in behavior they are willing to fight for the resources and they are at risk of injuring themselves but still they would go ahead and do it doves on the other hand they know that they will get hurt hence they do not go for confrontation they either cooperate and work together or they will retreat and move to some other place for say food or shelter or something like that but they would not fight so they are not in the situation of getting any injuries pay off matrix matrix explanation a visual representation of the outcomes based on the strategies employed hawk versus hawk both engage in a fight resulting in high costs due to injuries this leads to a low payoff for both as fighting is costly so when two hawks fight they will obviously get injured hawk versus dove the hawk wins without contest and takes the resource resulting in a high payoff for the hawk and a loss or zero payoff for the dove who retreats so in hawk versus dove case the dove definitely has to retreat and the hawk will win hands down and take away whatever resource for which they are fighting dove versus dove they share resources peacefully resulting in moderate payoffs for both as there is no conflict when it is a dove versus dove situation they will try to cooperate and get done with their work the resource will also be divided amongst the two of them but when two hawks fight no one gets anything except for injuries visual including a simple payoff matrix diagram makes it easier for the audience to visualize the interactions key assumptions assumption 1 resources are limited which creates a competitive environment where individuals must strategize to obtain what they need so this is the first assumption of this model that every resource in this world is limited and every individual has to be strategic enough to understand how they are going to obtain the resource in this competitive world assumption 2 individuals can adopt either strategy reflecting the choice between aggression hawk or non aggression dove so this is another assumption that an individual can choose to be a hawk or to be a dove now what we are talking about is not only these two birds it is also about the humans how they can choose to react in a particular situation assumption 3 payoffs depend on the interaction types 
This highlights how different combinations of strategies yield different outcomes. So if two human beings decide to fight and hurt themselves and get nothing at the end, it's of no use. If they decide to cooperate and get lesser resources, that is better. But if amongst the two individuals, one becomes a hawk and the other becomes a dove, then obviously the aggressive one will take away the entire payoff and leaving the other one completely resourceless. Payoff outcomes, outcome analysis. The cost of fighting can lead to a situation where a population of only hawks may struggle to survive due to high injury rates. Dove benefit from avoiding conflict. Their strategy allows for peaceful coexistence and resource sharing, which can stabilize the numbers in the population. The effectiveness of each strategy often depends on the proportion of hawks to doves in the population, leading to potential mixed strategies in stable ecosystems. So every person has a choice in a situation how they can behave. They can either behave aggressively or they can behave peacefully. If they behave aggressively, then the cost of fighting will lead to a situation where the hawks will have to sustain a lot of injuries because of the fight. If they take up the strategy of doves, then they will avoid the conflict and they will get some resources. There will be an equal sharing of the resources and they will be peaceful. But in the population, it is not possible that everyone will be a hawk or everyone will be a dove. Knowing the outcomes of the situation, then also. because it is ultimately the behavior of the person, the psychology of the person. So for a stable ecosystem, obviously there has to be mixed strategies. There will be some hawks, there will be some doves, such that the ecosystem is maintained. Evolutionary implications, natural selection. The model provides insight how these strategies evolve. In a competitive environment, the population may naturally balance hawks and doves. If hawks dominate, high costs from fighting may lead to fewer hawks surviving over time. So it is also a theory of evolution that whosoever is stronger is going to survive. But if the stronger ones are fighting for it, then obviously the number of hawks are going to reduce over a period of time and the doves will then survive and increase in number. So it is a theory of natural selection. Mixed strategies, a stable population may maintain a mix of both strategies. When hawks and doves coexist, they can benefit from each other's presence, leading to a dynamic equilibrium where both strategies can thrive. So mixed strategy is what happens and generally they both survive because there will be a dynamic equilibrium where the hawks and doves will learn to coexist and they are going to benefit from each other's presence. Applications of the model, biology used to explain animal behaviors related to mating and territorial disputes, highlighting how these strategies impact survival and reproduction. Economics applied in market scenarios where companies may choose aggressive pricing strategies, hawks, or cooperative approaches, doves, to compete. So in economics also you can see that there will be people having these kind of approaches in the market and they will try to compete and survive. Political science helps analyze international relations where countries may choose to engage in aggressive posturing or diplomatic negotiations based on the objectives and the behavior of other nations. So again countries may choose to behave like hawks or doves that is somebody would want to have an aggressive behavior and show that we are the one who is leading and they would obviously want to dominate the other countries or there could be a diplomatic negotiation which is generally preferred for maintaining peace in the world. So this is how in political science also hawk versus dove game theory model is studied. Criticisms and limitations. Criticism 1. The model simplifies complex human interactions and may not accurately reflect the multitude of strategies individuals can adopt. So this is one of the criticism which is faced by this model that human interactions may not clearly reflect in this because it is difficult to understand the psychology of a human and make a game model. Criticism 2. It assumes rational behavior while in reality decisions can be influenced by emotions, biases or misinformation. 
so this is another type of criticism which the game model has faced we are discussing about the limitations of game theory in the next session so you will get a detailed understanding of it limitations the model may not adequately capture social influences alliances or historical context that can affect decision making processes so this game theory model has not taken into account the social influences that a person can be under the alliances that two people can make it is possible that initially the person one is hawk and the other is dove and they suddenly come into an alliance and they want to move together because they have understood that fighting is not going to help so this is also another thing or any historical context that can affect the decision making process for example say there is a situation where two hawks are fighting that is two political parties fighting somewhere and there is a third political party which is in opposition when these two political parties which are hawks that are fighting one of them realizes that they cannot fight any further he makes a tie up with a particular dove such that he is able to sustain and survive so this is another decision making process which has not been considered that a hawk will tie up with a dove so these are just human behaviors how they want to make tie ups and they want to go ahead conclusion the hawk versus dove model provides valuable insights into conflict behaviors and strategies in various fields highlighting the importance of understanding strategic interactions a final thought recognizing the dynamics between aggression and non aggression can enhance our approach to resolving conflicts in ecology economics and politics so you can see that whether it is nature or it is study of economics or politics everywhere these kind of models can be applied and they can be studied so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the theory of hawk versus dove model if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you